Today, the Palestinian Authority is slamming President Trump's senior Middle East advisor, Jared Kushner, accusing him of incitement, trying to organize a coup against the Palestinian government and engaging in a campaign of deception. Those comments come after Kushner's interview with the Palestinian newspaper Al Quds. Kushner said that the Trump peace plan will soon be unveiled, with or without Mahmoud Abbas's input. Longtime Palestinian negotiator Dr. Saeed Erekat warned Kushner that Palestinian rights are not up for sale. Joining me now, uh, joining me now from uh, Jerusalem, Moyen Oda. He is a member of Al Shabaka, the Palestinian Policy Network. Thanks so much for being with us, sir. I want to point out Israel, Hay Israel Hayom, one of several outlets reporting that Egypt, Jordan, Saudi Arabia, the UAE, they've all expressed interest and in understanding that a new peace plan will be coming. Even if Abbas doesn't cooperate, should there be concern within the PA about going over Abbas's head, just simply bypassing him altogether? I, I think the PA should be really concerned about this, but I'm not really sure about the the news. If it's really what 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 is the deal uh, they are speaking about yet? If everybody's really agreeing on what? It's, it's only a news that nobody's really knowing what is the details, and knowing the details is the the most important thing here. Uh, I, I don't believe the, all of these uh, Arab countries will really support any deal without the PA, or at least without uh, having some Palestinians supporting it. Uh, uh, Morgan, I want to bring out a story that we broke here in I-24 News that uh, America reportedly, understandably, has suspended at this point every penny of its Palestinian aid budget for the next, next fiscal year pending a review that appears to be more than $200 million of money that will not be transferred as of yet. Do you have a reaction to that? We're talking hundreds of millions of dollars. What does that mean? I think this will mean that many of the PA employees, especially the security employees, will not receive their salaries. And this will not affect only the PA and the sustainability of the PA and the Palestinian uh, PA leadership. It, this, will, this could uh, affect uh, Israel, everybody in the, in the, the, the area, which, we, which will uh, lead, like, the problem with that, like, I think the money will mean that uh, many other uh, entities could happen in the, the West Bank, not only in Gaza, and this could lead, could lead to a war or different military conflict between uh, the parties here in the West Bank. All right, Moyen, thanks so much for being with us on Daily Dose. I want to introduce Elon Levy, our investigative correspondent who broke that story, his big scoop here being reported around the world, that pending a further review, every cent will be suspended of Palestinian aid. Give us a sense what that review could be, when we'll know for sure, and what reaction we're getting. Yes, Jeff, this is a truly extraordinary story. At the end of May, the Trump administration quietly suspended all of its aid to the Palestinian uh, Authority without telling anyone. Or rather, they told the Palestinian Authority that much we know because an official has confirmed that they've known about it since the middle of May, but didn't publicly announce it. Now, this comes two months after Congress passed the Taylor Force Act, named for the U.S. Army vet killed in a terror attack not far from here. It says that the U.S must suspend all of its aid to the West Bank in Gaza that directly benefits the Palestinian Authority unless the Palestinian Authority stops its so-called pay-for-slay policies where they give uh, stipends and salaries to convicted terrorists in Israeli jails and to the families of dead terrorists as well. But we know that the Trump administration was already talking about reviewing its entire Palestinian aid budget even before the Taylor Force Act passed. But the it's fact that it has happened, that it's been suspended apparently Pending further review, it was done rather quietly. You're bringing it to light. Absolutely. Look, the U USAID, the American International Aid uh, and uh, Associate, uh, the um, uh, United States International Development Agency here uh, in the West Bank and Gaza Strip, hasn't received its money for the next fiscal year. They haven't been able to put their projects out for tender. Now, contrary to what the previous speaker said, the United States doesn't give direct budgetary transfers to the Palestinian Authority. Okay, it's not giving them checks for its budget, but it is supporting all sorts of projects building schools, clinics, water, energy infrastructure that would otherwise have to fall on the Palestinian Authority as the government in those areas. I mean, could Prince William be asked about this? Could he be put in a position where he has to talk about infrastructure and, and, and investment? I mean, this is a major story. Will the Palestinians bring it up, perhaps? I imagine that the Palestinians, uh, well, Prince William at least is going to try to steer as clear away from any political uh, landmines. I'm sure the Foreign Office are going to protect him uh, very closely to make sure that nothing quite as political or controversial comes up. If he does, I'm sure he'll be able to definitely avoid it because really, as a royal, not a diplomat, it really isn't his job.